Yo, what's going on guys? This is Sid, aka Vicious274, coming at you with another review. And this time it's on the Black River Ramps Iron Pipe Low Rail. And for those of you that are familiar with Black River Ramps rails, the first thing you're probably noticing is that this one is black. Um, these ones have been out for, uh, for quite some time now. Um, so a lot of you are probably familiar that they have their new set of black rails. Um, but what I didn't notice, or what I didn't know until I received this one, is that it's not, an, it's not like painted, it's almost like, um, it's like a coating. And uh, the way that you could tell is you, you could see here that the name Black River Ramps is on the side. Well, that's actually etched out of the coating, and then you feel the pipe underneath in the lettering. It's, it's, it's a really cool way they did that. And it, it kind of threw me back, and I was like, that's, uh, that's different. I've never seen that before. So um, I was uh, very taken back when I saw that. And I also noticed that it has a, um, a textured surface. Hopefully you guys can see that. And um, it's not as smooth as their traditional style rails are but it still grinds very nice and you can hear it there but another thing that i noticed with this coating on these rails is you don't get that that long zing sound that you do on their chrome style rails it's still kind of there but kind of muffled off with the coating that's on it which is not a big deal but um it was just some differences that i've noticed and um it, uh, it's actually, it makes the, the rail look very nice. And I've been seshing this one for quite some time and the coating has not been wearing off or peeling at all. So it's, uh, it's obviously very high, uh, very high quality and durable material. Now the dimensions of the rail are about 12 inches long and about an inch and a half high. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, it already comes with non-sliders on it. And um, I really, really enjoy this rail for several reasons because because it is a low rail, I have the option of um, putting something underneath it to raise it up. So if I want a high rail, I have the option of a high rail and then I just leave it on its own as a low rail. And then again, you can also raise one side, raise the other. You can do whatever you want with this one. Put it on another obstacle, or like a box here and all, all sorts of different um, possibilities to do with rails. Um, but the other thing that I really liked about it <clears throat> is that it's, it's a fatter pipe and not as thin as most traditional rails. And I really like that because it's a lot easier to lock in like tail or nose slides and also your grinds will be a lot easier to lock in as well, which is something that I really enjoy. Because to be honest with you, with a, um, a traditional round rail, with it being so thin, I tend to have um, a little difficulty locking in my grinds and uh, no slides or tail slides. And with this one, I have, um, I have more fun because it's a lot easier to lock in those tricks. Um, so I'll have the link in the description where you can get these, um, these rails along with all kinds of other amazing ramps by Black River. Um, they are available, obviously, at Black River, blackriverramps.com and also at flatfacefingerboards.com. And I'll have the links to those um, websites in the description so you guys can go check them out. Um, the welding at the feet and the legs are perfect. You just can't see hardly any blemishes. And they also have... Hopefully you guys could see in here, it's kind of engraved in with their name as well. That's one thing that I really love about Black River Ramps as well is all the details that they put into their products, like the like the etching out of the material of the um, the coating to put the name here. I mean, it wouldn't even really be necessary because they already do it here on the footings, but they went that extra step and just to make it that much more nicer and more professional looking they went and etched out the name of the company in the actual coating of the rail which i thought was really cool so again guys i um <clears throat> if you're into rails i highly recommend this one it's a lot of fun a lot easier to lock in tricks 
um, grinds, no slides, tail slides. Um, and with it being a low rail, gives you the option of making it a high rail and then back down to low. That's why I really like low obstacles. Um, in my opinion, sometimes I prefer high ones, but in this case, I prefer my rails to be on the low side. All right, guys. So again, all the information is going to be in the description. Go check them out and keep fingerboarding. Two fingers. Peace.